George Summers, a 90-year-old Riverside resident, recently took a trip to Japan to participate in a reconciliation tour. It was his second visit since his days as a World War II prisoner of war. He talks about it like it was yesterday. He remembers nearly every detail. On December the 7th, and lo and um, on December the 8th over there, and then lo and behold, uh, <clears throat> right about, I guess it was 6 o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden here came a plane that followed the, the sun as the sun was rising and started bombing. The little town Sumai was just underneath me. And the Japanese uh, plane swung around and then started strafing them, you know. And then I was screaming at them to go back into, into the uh, coconut groves, you know, to protect them and everything else. Summer spent nearly four years in Japanese prison camps. He says he nearly starved to death several times, at one point weighing just 98 pounds. He says he's lucky to have survived. Now starting to starve to death like everybody else has nothing to really eat, you know. And then we had to line up with officers first and get a little piece of stam, spam, and each one would get a little spoonful of spam or something, and that was it, you know. Mm -hmm. well, this continued on for a while there. Summers was just one of 27,000 U.S. military personnel that were captured during the war. He says he will never forget the day he was set free. And finally they rounded us all up and put us on a train, and I think they shoved us down to, to some, uh, some port. And that's the first time I went and bowed down on my knees, because that's the first time I saw the American flag. <laughs> so I'm sort of kind of getting emotional. Summers may be one of the last World War II POWs to participate in the reconciliation tour with Japan. The tour is meant to serve as both an apology by the Japanese government and as a way to educate younger generations. It's unknown if the Japanese government will continue to pay for these tours. Summers says he hopes the program won't end. He believes it's important for the younger generations to hear these stories firsthand from POWs. And war is, and war, I said, is the, war is the uh, worst thing that could ever happen because war is nothing but greed. Summers now spends his days at his Riverside home, where he has lived since 1972. I'm Jackie West for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.